Welcome back, folks. This is gonna be an interesting video to say the least for those who've been looking to cash in to just crush the market long term, but you don't wanna do the research. Well, I gotta tell you, I went out and I wanted to find the best stocks to buy now, not by words, but by actions. I'm talking about the biggest hedge funds in the world and then coming over and saying, who are they buying? Because you'll hear all these different articles out there. This is the best growth stock to buy now. The best mid cap stock to buy now. I wanted to find out where they're putting their money because where they put their money, that's what they really mean. And so you can hear about these individual plays. And I've done this series before, but this is a new one. I wanted to pick on three hedge funds I've never discussed in this in this channel. And so here we go. This is going to be wild. Now, before I get into it, make sure if you haven't done it, come on over to the Patreon. I loaded up with the biggest stock purchase I have ever made ever yesterday. And I'm going to continue to be adding on most likely today as well, but for sure Mondays. You can join up over there if you haven't done it. Click the link down below for Patreon in the description. Come on over and join me. And of course, I got to tell you, we got a lot of things going on, but I want to get into that first stock. What is the first stock? Who is the first company? What is going on? So I'll show you this. We're going to go with Bridgewater. Now they have $126 billion under management, assets under management, AUM. They are huge. And so you got to wonder why so much money? How did they get that? Well, that tells you they're not joking around. So then I wanted to go in and say, all right, they got the largest amount of AUM out there so who are they investing in what are the best stocks to buy now according to what they're doing now you're not hearing them come out and say anything what you're doing is going by their actions in this one this video is going to expose the actual actions of these hedge funds and see where they're putting their money and so what i found was their number one their top holdings we'll say the the best stocks to buy now the top investments to have now you can see and we'll start, they start with Procter & Gamble. And I wanna go over some of the returns on this because I want you to think about your portfolio. Take this as an opportunity to evaluate your portfolio. Are you high risk? Are you going for extreme gains? And you can see they got this, nice PE of 27.09, little dividend of 2.42. And then we come down and say, well, how is their, their top pick or we'll say their best stock to buy now according to their actions? Well, year to date, 2.6L. All right, that's all right. How about, oh, over the last year, they're not even down money. So their, their biggest play is about even, 0.68. So as we move into their next best stock to buy now, I was I was a little bit shocked when I, I read through these. I don't know going in what they're going to pick. I have to just kind of see where what the, the actual actions show us. So the next one's Pepsi. For those who haven't done it, PepsiCo, uh, I should go back and say uh, stock ticker PG for Procter & Gamble. Now, when we go into the other one, we were just saying PepsiCo, stock ticker, P-E-P. -E Here we go. One day, well, we don't want that. Year to date, 7.79% up. Boy, it's doing all right. How about year to date? How about one year, Mo? Look at this, 13.49% up. They've been doing well. Guess what? If we're in times of, of some upheaval in the markets, Pepsi is a good stock. Coke is a good stock. Warren Buffett's been loading up on Coke for a long time. And now, you know, Pepsi's showing you the way as well. Uh, the PE is about 40, though. I'm going to tell you right now, that is pricey. Dividend yield about 2.62. I don't like it at that price. I'm going to tell you this right now, but I'm not here. I'm not here to say buy, sell, or anything. I'm just showing you the actions of these hedge funds. All right. And then uh, let's go over and make sure we're still doing this right. They had three, right? Yep, Westbrook. And then the other one they had, the third. I love this one. This absolutely is one of my favorite ones. And this is a unique one. Johnson & Johnson, when it comes to the best stocks to buy now, market cap, you can see what's going on here. We'll pull it up. 33 PE, 2.94. The pricing's terrible. Like these are not, to me, I think a good stock to owns under 24 PE. These things are up there trading 25, 30 if not higher sometimes, and I shake your head, but I love Johnson & Johnson. Absolutely love it. Remember, healthcare is one of the best sectors to be in during a recession. I think we're going to have that. I think that's why it's getting loved. Uh, year to date, look what it's doing. Down 9%. Of course, we know there's some things out there they're dealing with, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, moving forward, though, I, I like it. It's the, I think there's only two 
if memory serves me correctly, if memory serves me correctly, I believe there's only two AAA rated bonds for corporations in the U.S. But I believe Johnson and Johnson is one, and there's one other one that's escaping me right now. I don't know if it was Procter Gamble or not, um, but there was two. You guys can look it up, put it in the comments. Who were the only two? No, it was Microsoft. That's what it was. It was Johnson and Johnson and Microsoft are the two only AAA rated bonds out there. So the company's solid. Even the U.S. debt has a lower bond rating than Johnson and Johnson and Microsoft. In other words, it was more likely that they'll pay their their debts than the U.S. government. I want you to think about that for a minute. The U.S. government's uh, debt rating is lower than Johnson and Johnson and Microsoft. That blows my mind to even think about it. It should be never like that. But I remember 2011, Standard & Poor's dropped that rating from perfect down one notch. So we'll see what this debt crisis does, but that was the first one. Then we move on to the next. What am I talking about? When we get into these best stocks by now, top stocks to invest in, best stocks to invest in, who's the next one? I know it's tough to see, but Renaissance Technologies is the next hedge fund. They had $73 billion under management. And that's a little over half of what the guys before did. Now, so then we move into it. What are they like? Well, here's one, and I th I heard of this one before. It's Novo Nordskit. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but ticker symbol N-V-O. And this is a healthcare play. And you can read over here what they do. It's a Danish multinational pharmaceutical company. And it's headquartered in Denmark. So... That is one of their top holdings. And then you come down, you look, and we don't have a lot of information on it, but let's see how it's done. All right, I'm not here to go over too much, just basically the PE, if we can get that. And you can see year to date, 17%, 42% up one year. They are killing it. They are doing very well. So this is one of the, I think, the top stock in today's list for how well it's done. Does it mean it's going to continue that? I don't know. Let's take a look at the five. Holy. I look at the five years for those who are just listening. This stock went from back in 2018, $40 a share up to, well, $42 a share up to 160 now. Up 400% from that point at one point. Uh, well, or 300%, I mean. It's doing very, very well. Wow. All right. Now we move into the next best stock to buy now from the list here and we got amazon 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 is the next on the list we know amazon amazon's been under a little bit of trouble lately have they i don't know they're up 21 percent year to date and they came out with their earnings and we saw this right here it kind of went down amazon's amazon i buy everything off of amazon and the, the old advice i used to give people when um we talk we're not going to worry about that hit the wrong button there but the old advice I used to give people is that it, buy what you know. If you go out there and you buy Amazon, stuff off Amazon all the time, it's probably the right stock for you because we represent just normal America getting out there, living our lives, doing our thing. So if we keep going to the Walmart, if we go to McDonald's, we buy Coke and Pepsi, you know, that's the kind of stocks you can buy. That's the kind of companies that will do well during a recession. We're going to continue to do our thing. It's the high end things that could start to hit. The high-end restaurants, the high-end stores. Remember, some of the biggest layoffs right now out there, for somebody who's going to do some research and you're looking for a stock maybe to short, look at some of the high-end places because most, a lot of the layoffs are coming from the upper end, hundred to two hundred to three hundred thousand dollar a year jobs. They're getting hammered. They're tightening the belt of corporations. They're cutting a lot of the high-paying jobs. The line workers are solid. They're not cutting the line workers like they're cutting the big people. And so if you're upper management, you should be worried. Now, the next of the best stocks to buy now, I found, was Apple. And I got to tell you, uh, Apple was something. We got Apple on there. It was, today they reported and they did well. But look, year to date, and we're going to pull this up, ticker symbol AAPL, 32% up year to date. Today alone in the after hours of 2.49. And before you act like it's not a big deal, it's a $2 trillion company, folks. To move the needle on this thing, you really got to do magic. Uh, up one year, though, it's only up 5.75, but it was one of the craziest years we have had in a long time. And so that was a good thing for them. 
Uh, and I wanted to make sure as I get in here. Yeah, now we're moving over. And Apple was a part of that one, the one we were just talking about, the hedge fund. And then we move over to the other hedge fund, which is now Millennium, uh, Millennium Management. And they have $55 billion under assets. So as you can see here, I pulled that up. And you can see I have QQQ, SPY, IWM. And you might say, what's IWM, Mo? It is the iShares Russell 2000 ETF. They got a lot in there. And I like this one because when we come out of recession, this should lead the way. It gets hit the worst, which you're seeing year to date down 1.73. One year down 8.22. But once we come out of recession, this is the kind of play that leads the way, the small caps. The other stock they have is Microsoft and Apple. So they share Apple with the other one. So Apple is in both. Then we come up here and we take a look at Microsoft, ticker symbol MSFT. Love this company. It's one of the best stocks to buy now. I think it could absolutely dominate. Remember, AI's around the corner. They're doing their magic. They're trying to dominate that. We're talking trillions of dollars at stake. Trillions of dollars. So this is a big company, $2 trillion. Remember what I said. And we'll take a look at, well, before I do that, but year to date, 27% up. One year, 10% up. This stock has been gold for those who have been dollar cost averaging into it. You can see they had Apple. They have the... the the ETF matching up to the Russell 2000. Uh, you got three of the biggest. They are the largest hedge funds out there. I'm showing you what they're doing. In other words, if you could hire the best teams from each of these hedge funds that manages together tens of billions, if not hundreds of billions of dollars and take their top talent, put them together and say, give me five to 10 different stocks that you guys think are going to be the best stocks to buy now, and we're going to put billions into it. I just gave you the list. Now, there's some ETFs in there as well. You can look at those and you can go and do some research. But I was looking for the individual stocks. They do have some other ones in there with the, the overall just ETFs, which are nice. I told you that before, getting in like the SPY and the VOO is decent too. I always like that because it matches up the S&P 500. But some of the individual companies I wanted to share as the best, even saying the best growth stocks to buy now, uh, depending how we look at it, because these are pretty big companies you're seeing invest in. These are not the ones that are up and coming. And so it depends on what you're looking for. You're looking for stability. I think this list makes the grade absolutely. But if you're looking for more risk reward, this is not most likely going to get it to you. And especially if we have a turn down in the stock market, once we hit a bottom, some of those stocks that are more risky will return more on the next leg up. But if we could be going down, these stocks will actually do better than the more riskier stocks. So it's a, it's definitely a catch-22. You don't lose as much if the market has a recession. On the turn up, you don't make as much. So if you don't think we're going to have a recession, then you can get into those more risky plays to try to make more money. But if you think we're going to have a recession... And you can either get in the treasuries to guarantee yourself some money and not lose any of your principal or move more into these big, these big, huge companies that are dominating. That's up to you. But I did give you the list of the best stocks that buy now. Let me know down below if you believe that they are the best. Now, the easiest thing you can do is get your free stocks from Moomoo. Link down below. You got to use my link, but check this out. You get 10 free stocks for putting in a $100 deposit using my link. And each stock can be worth up to two grand a piece. And if you do it and you put in a thousand or more, you get 20 free stocks if you use my link. This is an exclusive, my friends. Take advantage of it. And I do have the Weeble. Check this out. They're giving you a 5.8% opportunity on some of your cash. And if you don't want, well, it doesn't even matter. Even if you don't do that, if you're depositing in there for the first time using my link, you got to use the link, you'll get up to 12 free stocks worth up to 30,600. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Now, like I usually say, let's get out there and make some money.